Pairing in your probes with MeasureQuick is really easy. You just got to make sure you follow these steps. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up MeasureQuick, and uh, we've got a, just a whole plethora of different probes here. I've got some Testo 510Is. I'll go ahead and turn on. I've got my field piece job link probes here. We'll get powered up and turned on. And you want to just get everything powered up and flashing. And nothing's paired in at this point. But uh, I just want to get all the probes up and running. And also, I'll just turn on here a, uh, uh, my Redfish IDBM 550 meter. So I got everything up and running. I'm going to go into my toolbox. And you'll see that I have nothing connected right now. So there's two types of communications. There's Bluetooth tools that stream data and then data sharing tools. On this video, we're going to focus uh, solely on the tools that stream data into MeasureQuick. Down at the bottom here, I just need to hit Add New Tools. It's going to go out and scan. And it, it pulled in the IDVM 550 twice. It's OK. We're just going to select one of them. I've got my Testo 510Is, two different serial numbers, and my job link probes. I'm going to go ahead and select those, 550, and then hit the X button, and I'm all set. So you can see my field piece came at the top, the Testo, and then the, the IDBM 550 at the bottom. I just hit connect on there by accident, but you can see it connected, and that one's in. Now, as far as the job link probes, this is probably the most important step and the step that everybody misses. When you go into your probe manager, you'll see all the probes communicating. Everybody always sees that. But right here, it says tap to map. And if you don't follow this part, you're going to get nothing on your home screen, which is what most guys get on there. So let's go on and let's get this all set up here. Um, I've got uh, one pressure probe that's not on. So I just noticed I only had one coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on there. And then I'll get another one pop in on pressure. It'll probably come in at the bottom here. You can see it came in at the bottom. Now, I mark all mine. Suction line down here, I have SL. I have liquid line on here. If you look at my serial numbers here, 93 and 94. So 93 is, is going to be my, uh, my suction line. So I'm going to map that to low pressure. That's what this tap to map is. I'm going to go down here to my high pressure probe, map to high pressure. It's going to automatically move those to the top, high pressure and low pressure. This order is not going to change. Now I've got eight, I've got line temperatures of 8200, 6366, and one line temperature 8199. So I'm going to look again here. I got this marked. I got liquid line temperature marked on there. That's 8200. So I'm going to select the 8200, map it to my liquid line. I've got this one here marked DLT, discharge line temperature. That's 6366. 6366, map to the discharge line. And my last one there, I don't have to look at it. Uh, that's going to be mapped to suction line temp. Now I've got my two hydrometers here, return air and supply air. Return air is 5253. So 5253 is return, and that means 5254 is supply. Now all my probes are mapped. If I go here to my Indoor readings, now I have return air, wet bulbs, and dry bulbs shown on the screen here. Now I've got two Testo 510i manometers sitting on the table here. So let's go ahead and we'll map those back into the toolbox. And I'm going to go to the Testo probe manager. And I'm going to look here. I've got a 323, which I'm using for my return air. So I'm going to map that to return air static pressure. And then the other one uh, that I've got here is the 363. I'm going to map that to my supply air static pressure. So now I've got total external static pressure. I can zero these out. That's how you map all the probes into MeasureQuick very quickly and easily. If you have Testo probes, you want to map the Testo probes in. It's the exact same way we mapped in the field piece probes. The, the only difference is, is that these come in as a set because they beacon their signal. These come in individually, and you have to map them individually. But that, uh, that is the only difference between the two products on there. And that will get you mapping your probes and get you the, probably the most important part of MeasureQuick, which is being able to utilize the diagnostics.